We look back at the core things that our users have wished for us uh, to, to deliver with the product. It is stability, performance and ease of use and I think those forces will remain in effect. And as for the performance one, we saw some fairly impressive numbers being announced today in the form of 5.5 having a lot better performance than, than 5.1. And then also looking at this in ease of use aspect, I think it's, it's a question of ease of use now that uh, Oracle buying Sun means that all of the Oracle uh, delivery of stuff for MySQL, uh, MySQL in InnoDB is being integrated properly. And I'm thinking in part of what was known as InnoDB Hot Backup, which is now going to be part of, or which is now already part of, our commercial offering. Another aspect of this ease of use is that uh, InnoDB is going to be the default storage engine, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, InnoDB is the storage engine that one as a default is likely to want to use when one is using uh, uh, concurrency and asset transactions. So uh, it puts less of a burden on the user that he doesn't have to remember to create tables using InnoDB now in 5.5. So as for new types of customers, I think we see a continuous evolvement. Uh, MySQL had uh, as a goal for, since many years to be uh, a a database that can be used in uh, general purpose areas. So we see some new areas coming along, but I would say that the, uh, the forces around in the industry at this point in time is about uh, getting products that are uh, delivering what they promise for that particular purpose. And here we see the databases for the web, uh, where MySQL clearly has been addressing that need from the beginning, uh, LAMP, and now the, the uh, F area where we will put more effort is, is to make MySQL better still under Windows. There are always trade-offs when you, when you design new, new features. And one trade-off would be with speed, as you mentioned. Another one would be with complexity. So if we've always preached ease of use, well, how can we then add store procedures, triggers, views, new functionality, and, and thus do all of those pieces of new functionality really deliver the, uh, with the same level of performance that we were known for in, in the beginning. So I acknowledge there, is some, there are some, some trade-offs when, when designing stuff. What I see now happening from now on is for us to concentrate on what we're really good at and deliver stability and performance in those areas. So MySQL being hidden behind other uh, products is something that we've always had and, and I think that's how we all always have thought about MySQL. Uh, MySQL has uh, in some areas been less known as, as LAMP, but hey, MySQL is the, the M of LAMP and we don't mind being in that sense hidden behind it. I also remember from the early days of joining the company uh, talking about various uh, connectors to MySQL, where MySQL is being offered as part of not just PHP or Perl or Python, but, but uh, tools that at the point of introduction were exotic, such as Ruby. Uh, I remember in the early uh, parts of, of this decade, uh, 2002 or something, well, we mentioned Ruby as an exotic thing with which the power of open source uh, could be combined with MySQL, and I suppose none of you have heard about Ruby. That was a sentence I could use in 2002. Well, now it's not the sentence which I'm, I'm, I'm really using, because everybody knows, knows about it. And through the open source effect of MySQL, we've been there from the very beginning. So, so I think that the, the way we're, we're thinking about MySQL is to make it available in the areas where, where people need a database, in particular for the web. You, you see a shift here uh, in our effort from having uh, emphasized new features in, in earlier conferences and now doing the, the core stuff such as online backup uh, better. And I think there's, there's a partial validity to it. So uh, we have not been truly known for adding lots and lots of features. We, we have uh, 
for, for several years been talking about adding these features, but, but the delivery hasn't always been as, uh, at the same level as, as uh, the core features of MySQL have had in the beginning. So now, if you see a paradigm shift of us talking less about features, I think that's going back to the roots. I think that's going back to delivering the core values that our users really ask from us, which, which are the, the famous trio of, of uh, stability, performance, and ease of use. And yes, we are focusing on exactly those. So, yes, we are uh, delivering towards a, a corporate user base, and, and, and uh, this corporate user base has certain requirements which don't really concentrate merely on, on functionality, but it concentrates on stuff like monitoring, where we have a commercial offering on top of, of the uh, open source core of MySQL, and it, it concentrates on, on what kind of uh, service level agreements we can have. So those are commercial aspects that a customer really needs from MySQL. You were mentioning Drizzle here and, and say that they have a different approach. Yes, they do. So uh, one of the core ideas I have understood, and I cannot be a spokesperson for Drizzle, is that they wanted to simplify the uh, functionality uh, requirements on MySQL by redesigning some things that, right or wrong, were, were designed in a way, uh, in a particular way uh, uh, when, when MySQL was done. And they have accepted the uh, loss of, of backward compatibility, meaning they changed the set of rules and with a changed set of rules some uh, amazing things are, are possible to, to make that the, where you don't have to fulfill the, the, the criteria that, that we continue to have for MySQL, which is to be fully compatible between releases. And that, that ha have, uh, has, has changed uh, the, if you will, the, the whole mentality of how, how Drizzle is, is, is coding stuff. And the question which, which is interesting to uh, see how, how the, the community will answer is whether the value proposition of uh, cutting the corners and, 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 and not uh, requiring backward compatibility and, and not doing stuff in the, the same way that, that MySQL has been uh, coding uh, the database, whether that will provide a sufficient leverage for people to really take a, a closer look at it. One amazing thing that I see Drizzle as having made is uh, get contributions from people who haven't contributed earlier to, to MySQL. And that's why not requiring the same level of, of uh, uh, shall we say, legal protection uh, between the, the parties that, that cooperate for, for Drizzle. So uh, me as a person who am interested in, in driving community contributions, uh, I am. Uh, I have seen a bigger amount of contributions for, for Drizzle, which is in a way amazing, but if you on the other hand cut the corners and don't require the stuff that, that we have from a corporate perspective uh, and in the interest, we believe, of our, of our customers, then, then of course the, the equation changes. So uh, that makes me think, is it that amazing? What's happened to MaxDB? I don't know if, if any of the spectators really know about MaxDB. So MaxDB is the uh, renamed version of SAPDB, uh, which is the, uh, a database which had even earlier names like Adabas D or whatever it was. Uh, it's it's a, a database that was used and still is used in SAP applications owned by, by SAP. And uh, in an earlier uh, phase of the development of MySQL, we had cooperation with SAP where uh, we took a role in uh, making MaxDB or the renamed SAP DB uh, available also to people outside the SAP user base. Now that has, has been firmly given, handed back to, to SAP and we have no role with, with uh, MaxDB going forward. So you ask about licensing and whether uh, and how it will, will change. I don't see, I don't foresee any changes in licensing. Uh, we've been uh, an adopter of, of GPL version 2. Uh, we started using it in 2000 as 
the world had shown that it was the best open source license that was applicable for us, and, and we chose to, to adopt it for us. Then we were part of the GPL version 3 uh, committees that, that designed it. Uh, we continued to be a late adopter, so, so we have not, had not moved to any, any newer version of GPL, and I, that's how I foresee it it to continue. So with GPL, I don't expect any, any changes in licensing. And much the same would be the case with our contributions. I, I don't see any, uh, expect any changes in, in how we uh, do, how we work with the contributors to, to MySQL.